Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Istanbul. It's almost, yeah, a little over two years uh, since the last time I was here and maybe you remember the episode that I shot here with the X-Pen and yeah, so that was the last video that I shot here in Istanbul and back then I used a very special lens, it was the 30mm f5.6. I would have loved to shoot uh, the X-Pen again here in Istanbul, but the problem is since almost a year my X-Pen is for repair so and I haven't received it back it's super annoying and the whole process but if you want I can make a, a video about this talking about my experience um, and I thought okay I don't have an X-Pen here maybe I should try something I haven't done before and that is to fake an X-Pen and the camera that I will be using for that is actually the camera that is filming me right now. But let me show you. So the camera that I want to use today is this one here. is the uh, Panasonic Lumix S5. It's a pretty nice camera uh, for a full-front camera. It's relatively small. So I want to use this camera together with um, the Lumix 16 to 35. And the reason is because this camera has a trick up its sleeve and I mean, it's not a trick, but let me open the, the screen. So you can, as you might be able to see, you can shoot in this mode. And actually it's the same aspect ratio as uh, the X-Pen. It's um, 65 by 24. And yeah, I want to use that. Um, I want to, I will shoot raw, but also Lightroom will apply these, uh, or this crop here. And that's the idea for this video. So this is basically like a fake X-Pen. And by using this lens here, I'm shooting, I will be shooting this only at 16 mil. And that should give me roughly the same uh, field of view that the 30 mil on the X-Pen gave me last time I shot here. Um, maybe a little bit wider. And if you're wondering about the filter that I'm using here, it's a, a variable ND, but at the same time, it has uh, like a promist built, a mist filter built inside, so it will give me more like a filmish look and not so much like a razor sharp digital look because this lens is super sharp. So that's the idea. Let's switch back to the camera and finish the intro. All right, guys, so that's the idea for today's video. I want to fake an X Pen without actually <laughs> shooting my X Pen that I own but I don't have right now. Um, yeah, and also if I use this mode on this camera, it has some limitations, um, which are a little bit strange, but it also helps to mimic the x experience. So, but more on that a little bit later, also with the settings and everything that I use while shooting this Lumix S5. So, without further ado, fake x Istanbul, <laughs> let's go! What you can see in the video is that they were confused for a second and then all three of them started laughing.
right guys, what about the settings that I'm using here? Like I said before, the lens is set to 16 millimeters and I will stick to that. Uh, besides that, I'm using auto ISO, um, aperture priority and I'm shooting everything wide open because I also shoot my X-Pen wide open all the time. And when you use this mode, this crop mode, uh, there's some limitations like I mentioned before. And one limitation is that you cannot use AFC, you can only use AFS. That's what I'm going to do. And on top of that, um, you cannot shoot in burst mode, only single frames, which is kind of odd, but I mean, that's whatever the reason is. Technically, I think there's no reason for it, but on top of that, it adds to my uh, fake x -Pen experience because there are small limitations like on the x -Pen because that doesn't even have autofocus and burst mode is not really burst mode, it's very slow, so that makes the whole experience a little bit more real, even though, yeah, it's not. But on top of that, uh, editing, because I want the photos to have like a more cinematic, filmic look, so I'm using a uh, enhancer for that, which gives the photos a really nice look. I'm going for probably like some um, Sinistral 800T look. If you're interested and want to see how I do this, um, I will link the video up there so you can check it out. That's pretty much it about the setting, so let's get some more fake x -Pen shots. Istanbul is famous for its cats and you might be able to spot more of them throughout the video. If you want to learn from me in person how to do street photography or you want to improve, then why don't you come to one of my workshops? Uh, I will display the upcoming ones over here. And if you are watching this in the future, uh, just hop to over to my website. The link will be in the description box down below with more details about my workshops and all the ones that also will be taking place in the future. So, and I will continue shooting here in Istanbul. Uh, insane, I love this city. Oh, 
kafaya doğru gidiyorum. If you have never been to, <clears throat> to Istanbul, I highly recommend you come here. I think at the moment, or maybe in general, it's one of the best places in the world for street photography. Um, it's fairly safe, especially if you live in Europe. It's very easy to get here from Germany. It took me two and a half hours flight, so not too bad. And on top of that, it's fairly affordable. I would say right now it's even more affordable than Mexico City, which is pretty insane to think about. Um, and there are so many people and there are so many different backdrops uh, that you can shoot in. Uh, because it's very close to the ocean, um, there's these, these bustling markets and everything. So there are so many people and it's a huge city. So come here for a couple of days or a week and you will have a wonderful time shooting street here. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Try to hunt some <laughs> fake expand shots.
If you want to see the photos again, plus some additional ones that are not in this episode and also the EXIF data, check out my blog post. The link will be in the video description. guys seems like um, there's big clouds coming in uh, might there might be a thunderstorm coming or something but it's all right because I got enough shots for today um, was good fun shooting trying out the fake X pen even though it was a challenge because you need to get super close um, much closer than I'm used to with my 28 even but it can be done so yeah it's a challenge but hey challenge accepted what do you think about this setup uh, do you think it's a uh, good option for or alternative for an X-Pen. I wish there would be a sensor that would cover or that would have the same aspect ratio as the, uh, the X-Pen. That would be pretty lovely. I would love that. Uh, I guess a lot of you also would love that. So if you know, if you love, would love that idea, leave a comment below and please let me know how much would you be willing to spend for such a camera? Uh, let's say including a lens or maybe not, just the body. Would be very interesting. Um, and that Check out my street photography scenes because that helps me to make more videos like this in the future and also check out my workshops if you're interested. Other than that, uh, give the video a thumbs up as always uh, and if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe because there will be plenty more videos like this coming in the future. Alright guys, that's it for today. As always, until then, uh, auf Wiedersehen.